Good morning. Welcome to 3 Minute Man. I hope you're doing well today. On Fridays, we're going to start talking about how the Lord's Church, the Church of Christ, is different from the denominations. And I wanted to begin today by just considering one of what I think, and I believe what the Lord thinks, is one of the most abhorrent doctrines in denominationalism. And it is the doctrine that children are born sinful. That children, that all children are born in sin and sinful and they are depraved. You, you know, a lot of folks talk about the abortion issue. And abortion is absolutely disgusting. But all these folks in these denominations who, who believe and who follow and, and who teach this doctrine that children are born sinful, I want to ask this question. If you believe in that doctrine, then what has happened to the souls of all those children who have been murdered? A lot of folks, a lot of folks will believe that they are lost. In Matthew chapter 18, in Matthew 18 though what we read is we read Jesus saying, Assuredly I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. If children are born in sin, then the question needs to be asked, why did Jesus call that child to him and use him as an example? It is because children are not born in sin. It is because children are innocent. If children are not innocent, then why would the Lord have told Nicodemus that he needed to be born again? And I understand that we're talking about a physical birth and a spiritual birth there. But still that phrase being born again is used. If the first birth was sinful, then who's to say the second birth would be any better since it's being born again? And of course the point is, is that children are innocent. They're not guilty. They are not held. Babies are not held accountable for someone else's sin whether it is their father, whether it is their grandfather, whether it is Adam, what sort of God would hold someone accountable for someone else's sin? God says he would not. We don't have time to read it, but I would encourage you to read Ezekiel chapter 18 in the Old Testament to see what the Lord says, because what the Lord says is that a son will not bear the guilt of his father that if a son continues in the sins of his father, he'll be held accountable for his sins. But if, if a son does what is right, then God recognizes it. The sinner is held accountable for their transgressions. The doctrine that children are born in sin, inheriting sin, that's not found in Scripture. It needs to be laid aside. Lay that false doctrine aside and hold fast to the truth because the truth is that folks need to be converted and become as little children. Hope you enjoyed this study this morning. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good weekend. God bless you. Be a blessing to someone else. Hold fast to the truth. Thank you for studying with us.